Yeah. Before coronavirus hit, this whole street, everything would be like traffic right now. It's six o'clock, so it's uh, it's traffic hours. Um, only thing, only good thing to come out of coronavirus is uh, the open roads, man. I love it. Hey, enough of that BS. It makes my blood boil. Politics and all that crap. Back to the bike. Man, this bike rides super smooth. If you're into touring, man, I'd highly suggest the road glide. Uh, but, I mean, it all comes down to looks, I guess. You know, you got the frame mounted versus fork. Um, this was a tricky purchase, man. Shoot. It's an expensive bike, obviously. So, you know, you got to pay a little bit of money for it. Um, but do it, man. Shoot. If you, you know, you got the money, you're thinking about doing it, just do it. Worst case scenario, you get bored of the bike, sell it. I'm sure you take a little bit of a loss on it. But, I mean, shoot. Live your life, man. Another one of the things I did not like about the experience was the, uh, was the buying experience. I hate so much. I hate it so bad. I cannot stand salesmen at all, dude. I can't stand it. They're not genuine obviously and that's just the name of the game for them and it sucks because it takes away from the experience of you know buying a Harley and buying anything for that matter it's just so many games and so many like it's it's grimy it's just pure tactics so when I first started reaching out about this bike this is very important for anybody thinking about buying a, uh, any type of uh, road glide or whatever this will this will give you some perspective when it comes to cost right when I first reached out to Harley Davidson about buying this bike um, they they told me 25 or 26 thousand right I said hell no that's way over MSRP I'm not paying that this is what I read from the forums right I've never bought a brand new Harley Davidson so they said don't ever pay over MSRP don't pay certain you know, if they try to quote you crazy amounts for, you know, documentation and all these little weird fees, you know, tell them to, tell them to zero those out. So, you know, I, I did that. And eventually I started playing games back with the dealer because they were playing games with me, right? So they quoted me 25, 26 at first. Uh, and I was talking to a few different dealers. Eventually I got one dealer down to 20,500 20, to give you some perspective. That's about five, six grand, guys. 20,500 brand new bike right RDRS included and it's got the fancy nav whatever full touch screen um, So I asked the other dealers I was like can you beat that can you match that blah 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 Going back and forth yada 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 and all the other dealers were like we cannot get anywhere near that number um, The best we could do is 22 23 whatever whatever the number was so I pulled the trigger on it and Yeah I love this bike, man. It's just so smooth. I could actually, you know, I could actually go from state to state and, you know, travel and do those long distance rides and be comfortable. You cannot do that on a breakout, man. <laughs> the breakout has got to be the most beautiful bike, but that is, uh, that's like a city bike, you know what I mean? Um, I mean props to you if you're, uh, you know, if you're if you're touring on a breakout, I don't know how you're doing that, but man, props to you. That bike is very hard to lean. Turning. It's a nightmare. But it is sexy though. I used to get so many compliments on that on that breakout, man. It had a cam. It sounded beast. 103.
that's the other thing about the uh, Milwaukee eights. It doesn't sound like a Harley, man. And this is coming. I know a lot of people say this on YouTube. This came from my old lady neighbor, right? So when I got rid of my old bike, I had this. She's like, she came up to me. She's like, you got rid of your Harley? I was like, yeah. I was like, she's like, you know, what kind of bike is that? She was referring to this bike right here, the Road Glide. I was like, it's a Harley. It's a Road Glide. She's like, oh, it doesn't sound like a Harley. I was like, dang. I was like, don't worry. Give me a month or so. I'm going to upgrade the exhaust and you're going to hate me. Don't worry. And she started laughing, you know. But I looked into upgrading exhaust and all that stuff. And then I heard about warranty issues and how you could lose your warranty if you upgrade your exhaust. It's just too much politics, man. And people try to talk about, you know, what Harley should and shouldn't do or, you know, what they should do to try to expand their business and stay afloat because you know they're hurting right now and everybody knows it so i'm a millennial guys i'm the ideal i'm the consumer they want right i'm a millennial um and i gotta tell you about a year or two ago i thought i didn't give a crap about harley davidson i didn't think they were dope you know, when you think about Harley Davidson, I, I did used to think about, you know, older geezer dudes riding their bikes out of shape. They got to work on changing that image up. Um, so it all comes down to marketing, man. I'm telling you. Guys, like, every decision a guy makes, I feel like, has to do with what women think. Right? So, I mean... I don't know, you gotta play, I guess you gotta play that game or whatever. But, the, um, the live wire, I don't think the live wire was a good decision. Who the hell's buying a live wire, you know what I mean? I mean, it was a cool attempt at, you know, trying to hype up investors, I guess, and say, oh, look, this is our attempt at, you know, uh, changing up the game and, you know, trying to get that, trying to reach those millennials, but, come on, man, a $30,000 bike, who's... No one's buying that, bro. Come on. Also, you gotta think. We buy a Harley for the sound. No one wants to hear me, me, me. No one wants to hear that crap electric BS. It just takes away from the entire feeling of the bike. That is that is Harley Davidson. This that is what you have to capitalize on and you know really really highlight is your sound that Harley Rumble um, which I, I don't have in this bike but my breakout had it I really miss that sound um, just it just sounded so powerful and so beast oh man another issue I got with the touring exhaust for the uh, Milwaukee 8 is is uh, everybody's getting the tab bam sticks with the zombie baffles every single person has that like exhaust setup like that's like the top exhaust setup that you got to go for everything else just sounds a little quiet we are on the east side all right so i'm gonna go test this audio out see what it sounds like hopefully there's no popping and all that other bs and i can upload my first video 